All right, I'm going to show you how to use a uh, pigeon. So applications, and as you can see, here's all the applications that you have on your computer. Now, yours might not have all of mine because I've installed some some extra applications. And you can install um, applications uh, by going through is one of these things where you can add it anyway. So what I wanted to show you was if we go down to internet, you will see Pigeon Instant Messenger. And this is one way where you can add, you know, start up the application. But if you want to make a shortcut, let's just click and drag that up here. Pigeon Instant Messenger. So we'll open that up. And you can see that I already have um, Facebook uh, showing on this. And it is connecting. So we'll wait for Pigeon to do its thing. It's got the little, uh, there we go. All right, it's done. So if we click accounts, you can see the two accounts that I have right here with Facebook and AIM. If we manage accounts, you will see the two that I have. And if you want to add something, we'll click add. And you can see the protocol that it is. AIM Bonjour is local network, so if you wanted to instant message your brother or sister, you have the ability to do. But the big ones that I use are AIM and Facebook. Uh, Google Talk is also another big one. Um, and you can look at the Yahoo, yeah, add that. So as long as you add your, uh, let's go ahead and add Yahoo. So if I type in, and if I can remember my Yahoo password, let's see if it'll work. And alias. And if that is indeed the correct password, all my Yahoo um, uh, stuff will show up in this buddy list. So this is Pigeon and how you can uh, have everything um, all in one chat window. So that's that's really handy. Okay, and if you need to delete something, like I see the password is incorrect, I can hit modify account. Um, and then try to type in a diff, the, the correct password. But you get the idea of Pigeon. Applications, Internet, Pigeon Instant Messenger. And if you want to create a shortcut for anything, um, you know, it's just a matter of dragging and drop. And that's it. And if you want to remove it, you can right click and you can move it around or you can right click and say remove from panel and it actually started that up anyway so that's it if you have any more questions you can just email me at brent underscore cameron at mac.com this video will probably be posted to uh, my blog so several of the people in the you know online community can read it and get a little bit of uh, information on how to use an instant messenger in Ubuntu Linux um, you can use Linux Mint. The same thing that I've showed you how to do here in Ubuntu is the same. It applies for Linux Mint, Fedora, Mandrivia, various other Linux distributions because they're all based on the Ubuntu kernel. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.